Hello, he, we are here with... Dustin Singh. And what did you just do? I got Top Fort Air d, &D. Okay, and let's go ahead and get into the deck profile. All right, so this was the last format because that was the last weekend of playing the format. I just thought you guys might want to be interested in, like, how spirals function in the format of full power magicians. So, get into it. I played uh, three super magicians. Uh, three <laughs> spiral super agents, you know, best staple of the deck. Uh, too tough because I'm playing it going for a spell, so I didn't think I needed too many toughs in my deck, and I wanted to maximize on foolish barrel goods. So I'm gonna play two tough. The one of spirals were one drone, one sleeper, one lash resort, one master plan, one quick fix. And that's it for the spiral monsters. Uh, best card in the deck to make Skull now is banned. RIP Gofu. Um, three draw and lock birds, other birdie that's really broken. Um, makes magicians basically skip their turns, really good in the mirror still, and good against trick stars. Uh, three goes to your best card is Stop Electromite, but very bad against tricksters, but still overall a good card because it hits sleeper too. And three Ash Blossoms, a card I side out versus Magicians all the time because I would rather play better cards versus them. And, but you still need it because of uh, Spirals and Tricksters. And then the one band Maxi. Rest in Pepperonis. Yeah, Rest in Pepperonis. So that's it for the monsters. Uh, ten Hand Traps. Uh, for spells, uh, three Spiral Resort, uh, RIP, we're down to only one now. Uh, three Foolish Barrel of Goods. Uh, three Terraforming. Two big red. I really like two. If I go first and I only open quick fix, I'll uh, summon one, may, uh, add a big red, make Link Revo, big red back, quick fix, and add my second big red. So that we have two lines of defense. One they can't kill by battle, and if they attack, the Link Revo can shut down another card. So it will make sure you don't like die the next turn, you can then combo up the next turn. Two is really good in the grind game as well, versus tricksters and other decks in general. If the reincarnation hit one out of your hand, it's good to still have the second one in deck because it's very useful. Uh, one Assault because of the goods package, um, one Reinforcement of the Army, really good, one one for one, and one Foolish Burial, really, really good card. Um, that's it for the spell cards. Uh, for the trap cards, I played a two Rescue, really, really good at two. One for the Quick Fix combo, one to have set down when you uh, bring back Master Plan to grind back your spiral resources, which is really, really nice. I really, really like two, and with Foolish Burial, good. Sometimes you may pitch one, and you want to have another one in deck to be able to set. And then, foul two cards of deck were a two mind crush. I really like maining this card because it's really really good versus both decks versus all three of the main meta decks. Uh, mind crush hitting Candina when they keep bouncing it back to hand. Mind crush chains a super agent's effect. Mind crush hitting um Ashgraph and fizzling its effect. Hand knowledge is really good, so you know what to play around if they have Ash Rogue or whatnot. And it's just a really really strong card in general. So I really liked it a lot. Uh, I was playing three before, but I uh, cut the third one for my third ogre, which I liked a lot too. So that's it for the main deck, 40 cards. Uh, for the extra deck, it was a uh, two spiral double helix. I only did two because I don't want to have a third one. If I get reapered, then I'm just basically playing with one less extra deck slot I, I could have had. The third one never comes up if you're really smart about how you're using your resources, especially with Link Karibo now. Um, when you would summon, when you're trying to do like a quick fix play, with the pitch master plan play, you just make Link Karibo, and then you can just big red her back. I'm still special to quick fix and be fine. Um, one Skull Dread, really, really good card. Draw four cards with Gofu combo. It's really nice if you get Reaper, get into your hand traps, get into Barry and stuff versus some magicians. Amazing card, very underrated. Before I was playing Coral Dragon and Ancient Fairy, now you just only needed him because uh, with Gofu, you just make him instead to freeze up a slot. Uh, one Borolo Dragon, really good. One Firewall Dragon. Made it sometimes when I'm going for a uh, play with Helix with the quick fix combo and I can bounce back hand traps. One Deco Talker, uh, one Ningirisu, this card's really, really good now with Link Rebo out. Um, he lets you basically have another out to Borlo Dragon that's not Borlo Dragon itself. Out Sleeper, out like generic stuff, so good. And sometimes I'll go for the draw combo with Id. Like I would make it Id early on. Bring back Link Karibo, link them away, make Link Grisu next to it, draw a card, and then you can out a card. So super strong. Uh, the one card I never made in the extra deck ever, Guy Saber, just never comes up because of the generic good cards you have in your deck. Because of Link Karibo and Saruja, you never need to make this anymore. So in the future, I'm cutting this card. Uh, one try it, Wizard. Made it a couple times. Uh, it's really good. If you can do the Skull Deep play, you should be able to get to the try it board. Very underrated card, common undercoat taker. This card is so good. The fact that it's a generic Link 2 and it points down is so good, which means now, like, usually our Link 2s of 4, our only other good generic Link 2 is Mrs. Radiant, but sometimes you need to do with, like, um, 
other stuff and this one is like one of the ways to do it's point down which is really really nice so i really like this card um one proxy dragon one ib uh, one link Karibo. to me this like made the deck look infinitely better uh one baguska and one princess sprite uh so that's it for the extra deck for the monsters i played a uh, three ghost troopers it was only for the mirror, basically. I didn't play any extra deck cards to hit anything else, but it's so crucial in the mirror that you need to play it. I didn't main it because I was expecting equal representation of uh, Magicians and Spirals, so I was correct about that, so it was a good choice that I didn't main this. And so, because Joel was just more versatile, same with Ogre and Ash. Um, three Magical Spring. This card is Super Gear versus Magician. You can train it, chain it on an Electromite's effect, fizzle it, and you gotta draw cards and push any unnecessary like rescue toughs and stuff that you can big red back which makes it super strong um you can also like basically potentially draw four off of it if they go star graph double scales and they play a spell you chain it, you draw four and discard one it helps on break your hand just overall and it makes it last for two turns on their turn so they can't pop skills for two turns like nullifying their electromite which is really really strong uh two twin toasters this is only for like magicians and going second Going against second against Magician said the time graph and against Rogue and Trick Stars, so it's like really good. Um, three barrier. I take out the Ash for this when I go first, so basically then it's a better card to draw into. And then Springs also goes in going first as well, so I just side accordingly, but Ash is one of those cards I don't want to have going first. Uh, three evenly match also goes in second, only versus um, Trick Stars and um, Magicians, I don't ever side in uh, this versus Spirals because it's not needed with the, if you have like 13 hand traps in your deck at that point. And they can just easily play around if they're smart. And the third Mind Crush, I side this in going second versus Spiral Soul because sometimes they blind second. And if you open like a hand trap to stop their turn, this card, like even passing back to you, is very, very strong. So I side in going first versus everything too because it also hits evenly match if people do decide side in versus me. And it's just good to hit in the mirror as well, really well. Also side in the third going second versus Trickster is hit Candino. So yep, that's it for the deck. Okay, any shout outs you wanna give? Yes, I would like to give a shout out to my uh, team, uh, Titan Esports. It's our wonderful sponsors at Metamats. That's uh, where this nice magician single player mat came from. I really like it. Um, shout outs to Elise for testing with me like all week and stuff. Shout outs to my friend Nick for getting me cards I need. Uh, shout out to my buddies Trey and Jack for making the trip and going up there. Um, uh, and that's uh, pretty much it.